In the race to protect its coast from rising sea levels, Singapore is canvassing for ideas and solutions from academia, the public sector and private companies. National Water Agency PUB wants proposals around the use of emerging technologies to monitor currents, process vessels and wave data and measure floods. Now, the call for solutions came on the first day of the Singapore International Water Week and Clean Enviro Summit. Melissa Go tells us more. With coastal protection front and centre, the call for proposals focused on solutions around new and innovative technology, such as radar and satellite sensors to monitor currents, to CCTV, drone and even smartphone images shared by flood witnesses. We understand that most people have a smartphone now, but with a smartphone you can capture videos, images, and this will be crucial because this provides live feeds of what is happening on the ground, and we are trying to find how best we can make use, make use of this information to help us in our work. PB also wants to tap machine learning and artificial intelligence to analyse information and better guide decisions on expensive infrastructure for coastal protection. The agency has also appointed a consultancy company, Sabana Jurong, to study the island's northwest coast, home to both mangroves and several reservoirs, to see how they can help fight rising waters. One of the key things about the mangroves is that it also enhances the biodiversity. So it has two, uh, two functions, right? It helps to increase the biodiversity, so in terms of sustainability, it's a much better option. And secondly, it can help to reduce the wave energy that's uh, hitting the, uh, the sea walls, so the sea walls may not be, uh, can be more efficiently built. Here at the Water Expo, participants know that coastal protection will require multiple players working together on multiple fronts. You've got to have all people on the table right from the start. So you could have multiple different agencies that take care of the water resources, of the transport, of the coastal area. All parties need to come to the table and have the same vision. And this party hopes to find the answers together. It's the largest gathering of water and sustainability experts in Singapore since the pandemic began. With over 15,000 people to attend the Singapore International Water Week and the Clean Enviro Summit, as well as over 250 local and international exhibitors, Sustainability and the Environment Minister Grace Fu says it's a chance to advance global collaboration and action in the fight against climate change. Climate change is a looming global challenge that threatens the existence of humanity. It has resulted in increased frequency and severity of extreme weather events all over the world. We have an urgent need for collective action to tackle climate change to avoid more frequent and severe calamities. Ms. Fu toured the expo where industry players made new commitments to speed up sustainability efforts. And partnerships were forged between the Singapore Water Association with groups in China and the UK.